Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest ALM release. First up, an improved Site Administration web interface is now available for on-premises admin users. Site Administration enables both on-prem and SaaS admin users to manage their environments from anywhere using any browser. Next up, Web Runner. The Test Plan and Defects tabs now have a more modernized user interface. This makes it easier for you to create and manage tests and defects when using Web Runner. ALM continuously improves reporting and analysis. In this release, the plan versus actual test run history graph has been added. This graph helps you track both test execution progress and actual daily workload. In addition, you can now use your computer's regional short date format as the data format of your graphs. ALM supports the SQL Server Always On Availability Groups solution. This solution maximizes the availability of a set of databases at the enterprise level. When you create a schema, ALM creates a database backup and adds it to the availability group. This ensures that you can still use ALM when a database fails because ALM switches automatically and seamlessly to the backup. This release also introduced some enhancements. When you enter your password to log into ALM, you can now view the password as plain text. After running a test, you can now view who executed each test step in the test runs module. The ALM Site Administration and OTA APIs now support 64-bit applications. And support has been added for Microsoft Windows 11 as the client environment and Google Cloud for installing and running ALM. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new ALM release.